Hi, I'm Jean-Marie Mabir, psychologist and project manager at the Fondation Médéric Alzheimer. I'm pleased to present the results of our small sample control study, horticultural therapy and well-being in nursing homes. Horticultural therapy involves the use of the garden, gardening, plant cultivation, and the relationship with nature to improve psychological, mental, and social health. A third benefits are a slowing down of cognitive decline, a decrease in agitation, a sense of well-being, the expression of positive emotions, and the satisfaction of engaging in nature-related activities. Horticultural therapy is a very suitable psychosocial intervention for people with dementia. The Fondation Médéric Alzheimer considers psychosocial intervention to be a priority for action and study. The Fondation Médéric Alzheimer has published a guide on the design and development of gardens for social, medical social and health facilities and a guide presenting 10 psychosocial interventions, including horticultural therapy. Based on this expertise, the nursing home Lépine Versailles asked the Fondation Médéric Alzheimer to organize a workshop in order to choose a project for the future garden of the nursing home. The National School of Landscape Architecture, landscape designers and community actors were also involved in the workshop. The aim of the workshop was to raise landscape designers' awareness of dementia and to gather the needs and wishes of professional people with dementia and caregivers for the future garden. At the end of the workshop, one garden project was selected from those proposed by the landscape designers. After the construction and the development of the garden, the nursing home wished to implement horticultural therapy session and asked us to evaluate the effect on the physical and psychological well-being of residents living with dementia. This study was a small sample control study, pre post intervention, with the approval of a national ethics committee. 14 residents living with dementia were randomly assigned to the horticultural therapy group or to the control group. The average age of the participant was about 88 years old. The minimum state examination average score was 16, indicating moderate dementia and the majority of the participants were women. Two evaluations were carried out, one before and one after the session, with an assessment of walking and balance with the Tinetti test, an assessment of anxiety and depression with the hospital anxiety and depression scale, and an assessment of the well-being for the articultural therapy group before and after each session on a verbal scale from 0 to 10. There were no differences between the two groups at the first assessment. The articultural therapy intervention consisted of two sessions of 45 minutes per week over eight weeks. Each session was conducted in the same way, a welcome time, a visit of the garden, a presentation and completion of the activity, a time for rest and discussion, and the closing of the session. In case of bad weather, the workshop have been adapted to be conducted indoors. The activities provided were, for example, planting, care and watering of plantation, harvesting of seedlings, cuttings, mating of mini terrarium, plant composition. The results show no differences between the horticultural therapy group and the control group after the intervention. For the control group, no differences were observed between the first and the second assessment. For the horticultural therapy group, the participation rate was good with a percentage of about 79% for participants attending at least seven or more sessions. There was no purpose difference except for the Tinetti test and in particular for the static balance with an improvement after the session. For static balance, these results can be explained by the fact that in order to perform certain activities, the residents had to remain standing. The well-being after each session significantly increased after the session. 
the number of sessions performed explains 69% of the average well-being score after the session. The residents enjoy the horticultural therapy session in which they were very involved with a significant increase in immediate well-being after the session. The improvement in balance and in particular in static balance would need to be verified with a larger sample. The lack of differences between the two groups is largely due to the small sample. The design of this study has served as a framework for an ongoing study, including three daycare center with a larger sample size. To conclude, horticultural therapy allows people with dementia to get out of the nursing home and provides them a meaningful activity stimulating cognitive, physical, psychological, and social skills. To go further on this subject, you can watch the video presentation of this study and consult our horticultural therapy practical sheet and the sheet adapted for people with dementia and caregivers. Thank you for your attention and I am available for any question and further information.